four different levels of marketing that you can be at in your own business. And in this video, I want to talk about each one of these levels and give you some perspective so you can see for yourself where you're at and uh, which level resonates most with you and where the next breakthrough will be for you. Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to build a business you love and live the life of your dreams. First of all, to understand these different levels, you need to understand the difference between reach and influence. So most marketing can be broken down to these two metrics, to these two terms, reach and influence. So let me explain quickly what I mean by reach and influence. So reach is basically how many eyeballs you can attract. So let's say you have um, a Facebook ad and you're paying for that ad and you get 10,000 clicks from that ad. That's your reach. That's how many eyeballs you could attract with that ad. And that's uh, pretty good. That's, I mean, that's part of marketing. You always need a reach. Um, for example, if you have a blog post that's getting 3,000 views um, a month, that's your reach. And then on the other hand, you have your influence. And that is your ability to direct your reach, those eyeballs, into a way that makes sense for your business. So your influence is your ability to control what's going to happen with those eyeballs, with all those people that you're reaching. So I hope this distinction makes kind of sense. And um, now I'm gonna talk about these four different levels each one of these levels has a different um, structure of reach and influence, and we'll talk about each one. So the worst case scenario is that you have zero reach and zero influence. If you have zero reach and zero influence, then your marketing is really, really bad. It means you have zero marketing, basically. Um, obviously, you aren't attracting anyone, you aren't reaching anyone, plus, you can't control anyone. So that's the worst. Maybe if you were there, then uh, at least it can't get any more, it can't get any worse, uh, at least, right? You're at rock bottom in your marketing and anything you're gonna do from now on is gonna be better than that, right? I mean, it, it really can't get any worse and any marketing tip you implement, anything you do will improve one of these two sides, your reach or your influence. So. Don't worry, even if you're at this ground zero level, you can always improve. And by the way, everyone starts at this level. When I started my second business, I had zero reach and zero influence. And whenever we start a new business, we start at that level. No one has ever started the business with reach or with influence right off the bat. So the second level that you can be at is you can have a lot of reach and very little influence. Now, this happened to me, you know, a while back when I was playing around with uh, some content marketing, where basically I had this blog post that went viral. So I was getting literally thousands of clicks, tens of thousands of clicks to that blog, and my influence was, was very small. So I had huge reach and very, very little influence. So. I wasn't able to somehow turn that into a profitable business because people didn't care about what I had to sell or what I had to say. I got all these clicks, but all these people, all they wanted to do is just check out the blog post. Basically, the blog post was an article with um, 20 quotes on life from Buddha. So although I got all these eyeballs to this article, all that those people wanted to do is um, read the article, check out the quotes and then leave again. And I had zero influence. So basically, that's not ideal. That's not good marketing. And I wasn't able to, to turn that into a profitable business. So sometimes what happens is you get lucky in your business. Sometimes you have a viral hit and yet you have no influence. And you know, this has happened to me on multiple occasions. I also have a video on YouTube that went viral um, on productivity and basically, I'm getting all these YouTube views and yet I have zero influence. You know, I tried everything, but people are just not 
um, acting. They're, they're not responding to my marketing messages. They don't care. So they just want to check out the video and leave. So I'm getting all these eyeballs. I'm, I'm having all this reach from this video and yet zero or almost zero influence. So again, not a very nice scenario. And uh, you know, this happens a lot to, to people that have a, some, some type of lucky strike. So my first business was in the music industry and something I realized is I knew tons of artists that were having these YouTube channels that were getting millions of views, literally. Like they were uploading their songs and their, um, their beats and their channel was getting you know, hundreds of thousands of views every month or even millions of views. So the reach was incredible, like incredible. You, you can't even believe how many views these people got just virally, organic reach on YouTube. And yet because these people, these artists didn't understand a thing about marketing, their reach was down here. So I know uh, multiple artists that are getting millions of views on YouTube and yet they, they, they're not living from their music. Right? They don't have a profitable music business. They aren't selling any of their songs and beats or at least not as much as they could. Right? They're making maybe four figures or five figures instead of six figures. And that's really the difference. So they have this incredible reach and yet no influence. So as you can see, reach isn't that important in marketing. It is important. Without, with zero reach, you can't have any influence. So you need some level of reach. But Quantity isn't everything here. So if you have, if you can reach millions of people that don't care about you, it doesn't help you. Uh, another example is I knew a guy who, who once was in my paid mastermind and he had this Twitter following of around 20,000 Twitter uh, followers. And the thing is, nobody cared. Nobody cared. No one, almost no one clicked on his posts. Almost no one interacted. No one shared. You know, no one cared. So he had 20,000, his reach was 20,000 on Twitter and yet he would get maybe um, 70 clicks a month from, from that following. So his influence was, was down here. He, I don't think he ever made a sale from those 20,000 followers. Um, so again, huge reach, zero influence. So, the problem with a lot of marketers is, a lot of newbie marketers is, they, got, they get obsessed with reach. They think, I need to have an email list of 100,000 people or you know, I need to uh, get 1 million clicks uh, from search engine optimization each month to sell something. And they think, you know, they get obsessed with this part here, with the reach. And they don't understand that you can have millions of clicks, millions of views and yet not sell anything because you don't have any influence. You don't have any control over those eyeballs because they don't care about you. They don't trust you. They don't give a damn. So you want to be able to build a profitable business. So everyone's obsessed with virality, with viral traffic, right? That's the dream of every newbie marketer. If you could just have one article um, or one video that goes viral and millions of people are exposed to what you do. And the thing is, even if that happens, yes, you have that massive reach, but doesn't mean you'll have a lot of influence, doesn't mean you'll sell a lot of stuff. In fact, in most cases, let's say you have a cat video that goes viral and you try to leverage that to sell stuff. In most cases, it won't work that well. You won't sell a lot of stuff. I had this happen to me in the past on multiple occasions, and yet it doesn't work that way. You can have tons of eyeballs and yet no control over what's going to happen with those eyeballs. So that's the second level you can be at in marketing. Big reach, little influence. Um, the next level, which is actually a lot better, that's the third level you can be at, is having little reach and big influence. That's when things start to get better. If you have a small following, of people that really and genuinely care about what you have to say and what you do. And you have control over those people, like not in a, in a weird way control, right? No, I'm not talking about mind control stuff here. I'm just talking about your ability to direct those people uh, to click on links, to buy your stuff and um, 
you know, that type of stuff. That's what I mean with influence. So if you have a small following, if you have a small reach, you have a small hardcore community of fans that really dig your stuff, that love your stuff, and you have built a lot of trust with those people, and you have good positioning, and you provide value, and they love you, and they care about you, then your influence grows. And it's very easy to build a profitable business and make a lot of money from a small but dedicated reach and following and a big, big level of influence. So that's why I always tell people, don't be obsessed with quantity here. Don't be obsessed with the idea that you need to have 100,000 email subscribers to have a profitable business or even 10,000 email subscribers. If you have a list of 300 email subscribers that really care about you, it'll, it'll be way more powerful than having a list of 10,000 subscribers that don't want to hear from you. And it's huge that you understand this. So what matters is the relationship you have with your following. What matters is the influence. So you can start off with um, very few people actually knowing who you are and what you do. And as long as you build a good relationship with those people and you have a lot of influence and you can control what, they, what happens on that list and with that uh, reach and with those eyeballs, you can, you can build a very, very profitable business doing that. I've been doing this for the past, um, for the past one and a half years, basically. And uh, you know, I've, I've made a lot of money just from a small community, right? I'm, right now, I'm not a, a big guru like um, some of the other guys, but I have a small and very dedicated following and I have a lot of influence in a good way. And that allows me to make a lot of money in a cool way, in a way where everyone's happy and uh, where I'm helping people and I'm making more money and I can reinvest that into helping more people. And it's a nice loop. So that's, you know, that's the third level. And this is where you want to be at as fast as possible. So try and skip the zero reach, zero influence level and the big reach, zero influence level. Try to, from the beginning of your marketing journey, come from this frame where you are okay with having a small reach and your main focus should be always on building influence. It's, it's more, I mean, you, you do need reach, but influence is more important. So, you know, I'd rather have um, 300 super dedicated fans on my email list than 20,000 Twitter followers that don't give a damn about me and just don't care and don't want to buy my stuff. Okay, it's very important you understand this. So that's the third level. Try and get there as fast as possible. And us usually the way you get there is simply by, by changing your mindset, simply by changing your mindset, by letting go of this need for a huge reach, by stop, stop trying to chase the huge masses and instead focus on, you know, niche down and focus on a small community of people that you can help. And if you've heard me talk about the seed launch in the past or the seed launch 2.0, uh, which is a term that good old Jeff Walker coined, then you will understand how this video relates to the whole C launch idea. You don't, you don't need to have a huge community and huge reach. What matters is how, what do people do? What type of relationship do you have with, uh, with your list, with your followers? And what's your ability, how's your ability to get people that you reach to take a specific action to buy your stuff or to subscribe to your newsletter or um, you know stuff like that. And then the fourth and the ultimate level of marketing is, of course, having a lot of reach, high reach, and a lot of influence. That's the jackpot, right? If you can build up to this, then you've won the jackpot. And oftentimes, for this to happen, it's an issue of scalability. So once, once I mean, once you're, um, you know, at this level here, once you have a small reach and a lot of influence, that's cool. So the next breakthrough for you will come from scaling up what you're doing. So once you have this reach and you have a great relationship and you know how to communicate with the marketplace and provide value and you have great positioning and all of that, all you have to do is scale up your reach. And there's different ways to do this. Maybe you scale up using paid ads 
Maybe you scale up using search engine optimization. Uh, maybe you scale up by building sales teams. There's different ways to scale up and in increase your reach. Um, but it's usually going to be an issue of, of your ability to scale up what you've already got. So once you're here, you need to find a way to scale up what you've already got to reach even more people. There's, there's many ways to do this, growth hacking, um, affiliate partners, JVs, um, you know, outsourcing, building sales teams, stuff like that. And once you come to this level here where you have a lot of um, reach and a lot of influence, you've reached like the mastery level of marketing basically, and uh, your business will just be like off the bat. Right. So that's basically the four different levels of marketing you can be at. Always try to understand these two different things, reach and influence in your business. Uh, see for yourself where you're at and see where the next breakthrough will be and then focus on that. And remember, in most cases, influence is more important than reach unless you're in level three where you want to scale up your reach with the influence and positioning you already have. So you can just, you know, skyrocket your business. So I hope this made sense and I'll talk to you soon.